207. That's the number of the ambulance Steve will be driving today. He's an ambulance man. Pat works with him. She's an ambulance woman. Today, she'll be travelling inside the ambulance with the patients. Steve is testing the two-way radio. The Metro Falcon 5 routine test call. Over. The radio is the link between the ambulance and headquarters. Oh, Roger, receiving you strength five. Thank you. Pat checks that everything she may need for a patient is in the ambulance. Steve makes sure the warning lights and two-tone horn are working. Pat helps him check the lights at the back of the ambulance. This is the control room at ambulance headquarters. Someone is dialing 999. Emergency, which service please? Ambulance please. A red light flashes on the switchboard. Ambulance service, can I help you? My friend's fallen down the stairs. Hello, what address would this be from? 47 Holloway Road. 47. Now, how are you spelling that, please? H O double L O W A Y. Holloway Road. And which district is that? The operator writes down the address the ambulance must go to and what it's needed for. Yes, well, what has happened? She checks all the details carefully. Is this a man or a boy who's fallen? It's a boy. Pat and Steve are having a cup of tea in the restroom. There's a special telephone in the restroom. It rings when an ambulance is needed. The operator at headquarters tells Pat where she and Steve must take the ambulance. Pat writes it down on her worksheet. As they set off, Pat tells the control room. Steve drives fast but safely. The flashing lights warn the traffic to get out of the way. Sometimes they use the horn to clear the road. They've nearly reached the address they've been given. Steve has to wait for the other traffic to pass before he can pull up outside the house. The patient is lying at the bottom of the stairs. Steve thinks Nigel's leg is broken. He decides to use something to support the leg. What we're going to do is we're going to put this onto your leg, okay? Blow it up. Make it feel that's easier. It's like a large plastic boot with a zip up the front. You have to blow this up. 
Just like a balloon. Just like a balloon. Nigel is very brave. He's a good patient. They carry him to the ambulance in a special chair. Inside the ambulance, they lift him onto a bed called a stretcher. covers him with another blanket to keep him warm. The ambulance crew will tell the police where they're taking Nigel. The police will contact his mother. On the way to the hospital, Pat asked Nigel some questions. Good luck. Nigel, isn't it? What's your last name, Nigel? Green. How old are you? You're eight. You can't see into the ambulance from the outside, but the people inside can see out. It's a shame. I bet you're very disappointed. Hey. They've nearly reached the hospital. Okay, you soon be there. It's not far now. Nigel is lifted out of the ambulance on the stretcher. The stretcher has wheels so that it can be pulled along easily. Thank you. Pat and Steve take Nigel to the casualty department. They'll need the ambulance stretcher again, so they lift Nigel onto a hospital trolley. Pat has to let the hospital know that Nigel is there. Steve stays with Nigel. We're going to actually let the splint there in there, OK? I'll try not to hurt you too much, all right? Just going to hold your leg, Nigel, OK? At the bottom, support you. Now he's in hospital. The nurses are in charge. Right, then, now we're going to leave you, all right? See if you've got anything else to do. Expect to find something for me, all right? And look after yourself, all right? Bye, now. It won't be long before Nigel's mum gets here. Have you ever been in hospital? Steve and Pat make sure everything is put back in the ambulance. It may soon be needed again. <laughs> 